we're going to prove that 2 to the n is greater than n cubed for all n greater than or equal to 10. Since this is a statement about all positive integers, you might think to try a proof by induction, and that's exactly what we'll do here. There are a few steps to this induction proof, but it is fairly straightforward. It's really similar to another result we proved previously, that 2 to the power of n is greater than n squared. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson proving this result. If you check that out, you should try this one yourself, because like I said, the strategies are really similar. With that said, let's get into this proof. We begin with our basis step, showing that our statement is true for the first number of interest. In this case, the first number of interest is n equals 10. For numbers before 10, this result is mostly false. So we've got to wait until n equals 10 for it to hold. So we'll say, let's look at 2 to the power of 10. This is equal to 1,024, which is greater than 1,000, certainly. And what's important about 1,000 is that 1,000 is n cubed when n equals 10. So this is equal to 10 cubed. So we see that 2 to the 10 is greater than 10 to the power of 3. Thus, we have shown our result is true for the first number of interest, where n equals 10. Now we can move on to the induction step. So here is our induction hypothesis. We're supposing that our result is true, so 2 to the k is greater than k cubed, for some k at least 10. We just proved that our result is true for 10, so certainly we can assume it's true for some some value at least 10. Now with that said, what we want to show is that our result holds true for the next positive integer. We're assuming it's true for positive integer k. We want to prove it's true for the next positive integer. So we want to show that 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than the cube of k plus 1. k plus 1 cubed, of course, is equal to k cubed plus all of this if you expand it. And this expansion of k plus 1 cubed is going to be vital for our proof. All right, so to get into this, this is what we want to show, but certainly we can't start there. We need to start with what we know, which is from our induction hypothesis. We know that 2 to the k is greater than k cubed. Now to take a step towards our goal, our goal concerns 2 to the k plus 1, we should multiply both sides of this inequality by 2, because if we do that, then we'll have 2 to the k plus 1 on the left, since 2 times 2 to the k is 2 to the k plus 1. So this gives us that 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than 2k cubed. Again, we've just multiplied both sides of this inequality by 2. At this point, we might feel kind of close to our result. We've shown that 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than 2k cubed. We're trying to show that it's greater than this. This has 1k cubed and then a bunch of other stuff. But this other stuff probably isn't as much as an entire additional k cubed, right? 2 to the k plus 1 we know is greater than 2k cubed. So we're going to try to leverage that in order to prove the actual inequality that we want. So we're going to say, well, 2k cubed, that's the same as k cubed plus k cubed. Now, this k cubed matches up with this one in what we're trying to prove. And this other k cubed, maybe we can show that this k cubed is at least as big as all of this stuff. If we can do that, then we will be done, because then we could replace this k cubed with all of this stuff, and we'd have our desired result, that 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than all of this. To begin showing our extra k cubed is in fact at least as big as all of this stuff, let's recall that k is at least 10. So k cubed, which is equal to k times k squared, has to be at least 10k squared, again, because k is at least 10. So we could say, certainly, k cubed plus k cubed is at least k cubed plus 10k squared, because k cubed is at least 10k squared. But the squared term that shows up in our expression that we're trying to get to 
is 3k squared. So let's take a 3k squared out of this 10k squared, and then we'll have 7k squared left to work with. And we'll try to show that 7k squared is greater than the rest of this stuff. So we'll move to a new line and write that 2 to the k plus 1. At this point, we have that it's greater than k cubed plus and like I said, we're going to take 3k squared out of this 10k squared. So k cubed plus 3k squared, and then we still have 7k squared left over. Okay, we've got the k cubed, we've got the 3k squared. Now we just need to show this 7k squared is greater than or equal to 3k plus 1. And this is pretty easy because, again, k is at least 10. So 7k squared is at least 70 times k. So then if we can show that 70k is greater than 3k plus 1, we'll pretty much be done. And that's really easy because 70k, we could split that up into 3k since that matches up with this plus whatever's left over, so 3k plus 67k. And then since k is at least 10, 67k for sure is going to be greater than 1. So this final expression here for sure is greater than 3k plus 1. So 7k squared is at least this big, and this is greater than 3k plus 1. So then we have that 7k squared is greater than 3k plus 1. And we can make this final replacement in this inequality. Since 7k squared is greater than 3k plus 1, this whole thing is greater than k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. And this whole sum is equal to k plus 1 cubed. So 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than all of this, which is greater than all of this, and this is k plus 1 cubed. So we arrive at our final desired statement here, 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1 cubed. And so we've completed our proof. By the principle of mathematical induction, we've shown that 2 to the n is greater than n cubed for n at least 10. We prove that it's true for the first value, n equals 10, and then show that if it's true for one value, it has to be true for the next. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or video requests.